everybody i had a lovely few days off thank you for letting me take them off um how are you all doing i tell you what i am ramping up to christmas and it is coming thick and it is coming fast we have so today is thursday i've already done one christmas toddler group i've already done one kids christmas um, performances. I've got another one on this afternoon for the bigger one. Um, and this weekend I have my family coming down to do a like Christmas early Christmas. And I also have messy church, which I need to sort out. Uh, I had to move. The light was really bad. I thought I would run you through what I'm doing for messy church. So messy church isn't always my gig. This month is my gig and it's a big supersized like Christmas one, which will be really, really lovely for the children, hopefully. Um, it's going to be like an escape room style, loads of activities around the um, school, which is also our church. And they have to complete each challenge in order to get a piece of paper and a piece of paper has a word on it. And then if you collect all five words and then you put it together, you get a sentence. Then if you tell someone the sentence, then you win a prize. Hooray. Um, but the activities are all like one's a decoding station. Um, one is we've got like a little door and there's like 50 keys and you have to work out which key it is that opens the door. Um, one of them is, oh no, I'm forgetting them now. Story sequencing. One of them, which I have made, I'm really, really excited about because it's, um, they've got some words and they've got missing letters in the words and if you find out the missing letters and play them on the piano it plays a tune and then once you guess what the tune is spoiler alerts so away in a manger then you get your um piece of paper which i was like this is genius and everyone else is looking at me going that is really difficult I was like, well there'll be adults in the group so it'll be absolutely fine Hopefully, I'll let you know how that one goes. Um, but yeah, so they're going to be doing all of those crafts and activities and stuff. And then I am up the front doing um, all the games and the talks and leading the singing and stuff like that. And like, even though it's got the word church in it, it's got me up the front. So obviously it's going to be noisy and crazy and a little bit mad and a little bit wayward so um the games i've got two that they've got to do right think you know when you go to a holiday park i don't know if they have these in america or other countries in the uk we have like holiday parks where you have like little chalets and static caravans and stuff like that and you go to the clubhouse and the clubhouse has what we call mini disco and mini disco is like all the kids entertainment and stuff like that i think that i have missed an absolute trick and that i should have been a children's entertainer at a mini disco. I should have been a red coat at Butlins and you know, I missed my calling. I'm sad about it. So the best thing I can do now is live vicariously through um, the messy church services and do it there instead. So we've got two games. One of them is get the donkey traveling. Oh, I'm gonna have to think of a better name for it. If anyone can think of a better name, please put it in the comments but they're gonna have cut out donkeys and they need to blow the donkeys. They're not allowed to touch them. They've got to blow the donkeys from one end of the hall to the other, crossing the finish line. And that's like where the donkey carried Mary safely on her way. Um, oh, what? I'm sure I came up with a name for it. And maybe I just called it like the traveling donkey or something like that. Anyway, that'll get them all out of puff and they'll enjoy doing that. And then the second game, is don't wake baby jesus which involves a balloon with a face on it that's jesus and then i'm going to get the adults to stand in bizarre positions and the kids have to keep jesus up in the air and get over and under their adults as an obstacle as long as they don't wake baby jesus i mean or burst him that would kind of that would be a horrible grisly end to christmas wouldn't it but anyway, there's those two games and then some songs and then all the activities and me talking about stuff. So hopefully it'll be really, really good.
but it does mean that I've got a lot of stuff to get organized. So later on, as soon as my Amazon delivery arrives, I will be um, doing some laminating and making stuff up and making donkeys and blowing balloons. Oh no, I won't blow the balloons up just yet but having a test run and stuff like that as well. So I'll show you all of that later as soon as my Amazon delivery arrives. Also waiting on, so once they get the sentence all together, um, they have to say it to someone and then they win a prize. Now I ordered the prizes and I ordered them for next day delivery and every, who used to be Hermes, has just lost it, which is great. So I spoke to Baker Ross and they were like, oh, well, sorry, it's it's a them thing. I was like, yeah, but can it be a you thing, please? Could you? I really, really need them. So I'm going to email them back again and say, you know, if it's not here tomorrow, please, can you deliver some back out and please, can you make it next day? Because I really, really, really need them. And I paid £8 to have it delivered next day and it hasn't come so please 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 can you send them we shall pray <laughs> that they don't get lost this time um so yeah i've got all of those bits um what else have i got to do oh i need to make some gingerbread so we've got a little cafe as well where all the parents can sit when their kids are doing the activities so i have to do some gingerbread men for the I'll do those with the kids this afternoon. That'll be nice, won't it? As long as I don't get any hair or fingernails in it. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> That's true, true Christian hospitality, that is. <laughs> I'll just... <laughs> Sorry. I've made myself giggle at the idea of someone picking out a um, big long of hair out of their gingerbread man and me going like, Jesus loves you. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> nice, nice. I also have my family coming down on the same day. So they're going to all be coming to church. They're not church goers, but they're going to come and support me at church and also help me with all the children. Oh, only three of our children will be there. So they're going to help me with three of the kids. And then my sister's bringing down her little one as well. So he'll be able to have a wonderful time. And then we're all going to come back here and like do a second Christmas. I need to make a centerpiece for the table. I've got a um candlestick so far and i think i've got some spare green um like those things i think i've got some spare of that which i was just going to wrap around and i was going to get some candles for the top but i need to go out and get the candles i'm going to go to b m tonight and see if they will they even do candles maybe not and then by the time i get out I'm distracted. I will um, see if I can get to B&M, get some candles, and if not, I will try and work something else with it. But that's for the centrepiece. And then I've got to get all of their presents wrapped and sorted as well, um, which I'm pretty sure I've done. I think I've got everyone's presents. I just need to get them wrapped and then sorted for, for the gift giving. And then that's about it, really. I've got loads of food already, so I've been really, really lazy and just gone for frozen party food I might even put it in the oven if they're very very lucky um but yeah having to do messy church on the same day as having um I think how many people is it 15 in total 15 people catering for all of them um it's going to be a really really busy Sunday so ugh. but it does mean that at least like half of my Christmas is done now in terms of like the stressful bit of getting everything ready and organised, half of that is done because we've ticked off his parents, we've ticked off my lot. So then it means that half term, I'll be able to just concentrate on the kids and it'll just be a really nice week of crafts and activities and catching up with friends and doing stuff like that just for the kids. So that'll be really, really nice. But for this afternoon, I am off back to school to go and watch the 10-year-old do her Christmas carols. Actually, it will be the last one of her time in primary school. Oh, I feel sad about that. She's not having a great time at school at the moment either. So it will be really nice to go and do something nice and supportive. And just be there and be the big smiley mummy that I am. Like, mm. <laughs> Let's be like front row, like... 
I went to see the other one yesterday. Oh my goodness, she's such a posse boots. She literally, like, these kids were coming onto the stage and she was, and like, she's seven. She's only dinky. And she was going, ah, uh, wait there, one at a time. Oh my, God. my child, the controlling organiser, don't know where she gets it from, can't begin to imagine. Good morning! Uh, so where did I leave you last night? We were in B&M and uh, what did I buy? Bought a couple of cushions, I bought I bought some um, photo frames, I'm going to make some thank you presents for people and uh, little one wanted that little reindeer, <laughs> like a pink reindeer with sparkly bits all over it. There's less sparkle all over it now and more sparkle all over her bed and over her face where she's been sleeping with it. Um, but it was reduced down to £2.50 and she really, really loved it. So I was like, fine, whatever, buy it, buy it, buy it. Um, if, as long as it keeps her quiet and as long as it keeps her entertained. Like, we're at that time of the year, aren't we, where we just need to, like, keep them entertained for as long as possible. Um, just to pass the time is great. Uh, a load of my stuff came last night from Amazon and from Baker Ross for the messy church things. Uh, so I've got loads and loads of laminating to do. Um, I need to, let me show you these things. I wonder if I can open them up. Oh, let's stay at the place. Oh, I also made in those tubs there are two batches of um, gingerbread. So that is one thing off ticked off my list. Little one wasn't very happy because she was helping me make them and then I had to chill the dough and then she got the hump because she wanted to carry on and I was like, no, no, we have to wait for the dough to be cool. And then by the time we got back from the shops, it was about eight o'clock, I was like, mm, you definitely need to get into bed. I also need to get into bed. Oh, I'm so tired. I don't know why I'm sleeping really badly at the moment and it is showing on my face. Um, so the prizes after they do all the activities for Messy Church, they're going to um, get one of these as a prize and um, a suite as well. So I've got to bag all those up and get those ready, do all my laminating. I've got to make some more donkeys. You know, I told you about the donkeys. Ta-da! I was gonna cut them out. Oh, look at his bandy leg at the front. <laughs> <laughs> he's ready for the knackers yard that one um so i was going to cut them out and then when i when the paper arrived it was a5 and not a4 as i was expecting but i thought you know what i can work with it and also i don't have time to get any more so um i'm working with a5 
I thought if I drew them on and then they can just blow them. I feel like I'm not explaining it. I wonder if I can, I've got so much mess on the table in front of me, but I'm just gonna, so. Ta-da, like that. <laughs> and they've got to do that all the way across the room. It makes sense now, doesn't it? Oh, it'll be good when we get there. It'll be good when we get there. So yes, and that's me today. Uh, I'm also studying this morning. So I've got to write a research proposal. Oh, sorry. Um, I've got to write a research proposal for um, my dissertation, which is on food security and how the government isn't pulling its weight when it comes to food security and allowing people like the food bank to take the slack and whether that's a good thing or not. So that'll be fun. That's just 2,000 words that I've got to bang out with supporting documents and statements and make it look all fancy and lovely. And then I can carry on with the niceness and the funness of um, messy church. <laughs> Yay! Oh, I did some writing um, and, oh, I didn't really do some writing. I did a bit of coursework and um, the door went and I was like, mm, I wonder what that is. And a parcel came and I was like, I'm not expecting any parcels. Well, I am, but I'm not really expecting parcels. But I've just noticed <laughs> that the bag is open. Oh, what do you know? It's my fabric from the dress. Ba -ba -da -bum. Bit fluffy. But, ugh, four meters of green. What's with the lines? Four meters of green. Oh my word. That is a bit see-through, isn't it? It could be see-through when it's on me. Okay, and really fluffy. Can you see that? Hmm. Okay. Right. It's so strange. In real life, it's not that see-through. It's just clearly the... It's the light, because like from here, it's really not that bad. Whereas on the camera, it looks really, really bad. But um, for anyone that doesn't know, this is for my, um, what dress is it? The Basque dress. It has definitely got a really good four-way stretch. Uh, mm, a really good stretch that way. Not oh, enough enough that I can definitely fit into the smaller size. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, head back a day or two and you'll be able to see what I mean. Um, strangely enough, we're in this same position where I'm having to cover my boobs because of the dress. But I really think that it's stretchy enough that I can do the smaller size. And it's a few days early. I wasn't expecting it till Monday. I don't have time to sew anything up this weekend, but I'm pretty happy. Um, the fabric was from Textile 9. It's um, a bottle green velour and it was £16 for four metres and then another £4 postage. So 20 quid for four metres for my dress. <sighs> right, I've got stuff done, um, but I'm still nowhere near where I need to be. That's okay, I have all of tomorrow as well. I have laminated all the pictures for the story sequencing. I still haven't made any more donkeys, but I've got a couple of donkeys there. Um, I've made the eye spy as well. So I'm going to dot a load of these around. So you've got Mary, got an angel, and a stable. I've got the balloons for don't wait, Jesus. I don't know what else I've got to do, really. If you can hear the wailing in the background, it's the tiddly one. <laughs> I'll be just waiting to move. Um, it's the tiddly one. What happened? Broke a reindeer's leg. She did not get like, run over by a reindeer. Reindeer's leg got, no, reindeer's leg <laughs> got broken off. That beloved reindeer that she was desperate to get from B&M and she's already broken it. She, um, well, she over-enthusiastically <laughs> laid onto the bed and it was on it at the time. So um, that'll be us trying to glue that back together this evening um, and play ball with the dog, it would appear. <laughs> right, I'm off. I will do another vlog 
um, I'm going to do tomorrow and I'll do Messy Church as well so that you can see all of that and see everything all put together. Um, and then so I will see you on Monday. Have a great one. Bye.